In this video, I'm going to share 15 simple living practices that help me find calm and peace and balance in a busy life as a mom of three kids married to a Navy man. Good morning. Okay. I can do hard things. I can do hard things. There we go. 9.08 in the morning. I have been awake for four hours, yet I still <laughs> look like this. I get up at 5 a.m. and have some quality me time. Mostly I get some work done, drink my coffee in peace and quiet while it remains hot. And then the kids start to get up slowly one by one. I have three kids. And usually by 9 a.m. I'm switching over into mom life mode. And I get ready for the day. I come upstairs, I open my curtains. There usually was a child still sleeping in our bed, so I left it on me. <laughs> I have to make the bed, get dressed, and I start a load of laundry. It's good enough. Our pillows are different, so it looks like that, and okay. Laundry. The kids had a night swim, so now I think laundry will start with that today. I also ran self-clean on this last night, so that's why it's closed. Here's my laundry schedule every week, and it is now Monday, so I am going to restart. This is what was accomplished from a, a laundry perspective last week. Printed and laminated and put on these Velcro dots. And then I also Velcro dotted a pen, a dry erase pen. And each week, before I clear it off, I figure out if there's anything I missed last week that needs to be done. I also did this one. Um, I did not do this. I just wipe it off to give my week a restart, but I leave the things that I circled so that I know those are left over from last week and I need to make sure they get done this week so I don't skip them two weeks in a row. I air dry swim stuff so i just need to get that washed yeah and i can't even check anything off because it's swim and that's not on my list that's just part of every single day in the summer so i don't amend my list for that i do have a drying rack outside and we use this every day too. So the kids will swim in the morning, hang their stuff to dry, wear it again in the afternoon. They might even wear it again the next day and then I wash it. So usually the swimsuits get used two, three times before I'm putting them in the washing machine. Let's get dressed. I have this bin right here for half dirty, half clean clothes that are, have been worn, not ready for the laundry, but maybe I could wear again another day or two. There's not that much in there. Just Okay, there's three bras <laughs> and a sweatshirt. That's not gonna help me in June. I wore these yesterday. I'll wear those today. What do I have today? One of them has swim class. Everybody has gymnastics. I'm making taco bar for a friend of mine who just had surgery. I'm gonna drop off taco bar night for her family. I have to go to the grocery store to get the things for taco bar night. That's a lot of things. I gotta be comfortable today. So to get ready, I have one drawer for all my stuff. Deodorant, hair stuff, hair stuff, fit, uh, lotions, nail clippers, my clip. And then this is my jewelry box. This is what I'm down to for jewelry that I like to wear earrings and some bracelets. I don't really wear much jewelry or any makeup anymore. Most of the makeup that I've tried in the last year hurts my eye. It burns my eyes. It makes my eyes water. And I've tried mineral makeup. I've tried non-toxic makeup. I have tried a lot of different things and finally just gave up and said forget it. So I have some lipstick that I like from Honest Brand that stays in my purse and I pop that on when we're going out. Otherwise, I have been makeup free for about a year. I don't think I'm gonna try to get the curls back today because that doesn't look too bad. All right, some deodorant and we're out of here. Okay, so one thing that I do 
before I leave a room as I make it a little bit better than when I walked into it. So I see two things that I could do. This needs to get put away. I was just letting it air dry. It's a steamer for clothes that lives in my clothes closet. Okay, I'm gonna put that away. The second thing that I could do in my bathroom is to put away the band-aids. Band-aids, I use plant-based band-aids. Uh, there are several band-aids that contain a lot of what's called forever chemicals and are toxic to your skin. So I use plant-based band-aids. These are Fibu, Febu, I don't know. I did seven hours of yard work this weekend and I got a blister on my thumb from all the raking. That's why I needed a band-aid. That was more information than you probably needed for a morning routine. Now I've made it better. What's my daughter's nail polish? I don't know what she's done with it. So. The ironing board is back out again and we had to iron something for Girl Scouts and we didn't get to the whole pile and it's been sitting here waiting for someone's time to be able to do that. Someone, me or my husband. I do not have the kind of time to do that in order to leave the room today, but this was also sitting here and this is an Amazon return. So I'm gonna go put that on my launch pad so the next time I leave the house, I can take this for a return. It's just a dress I bought that I did not like. We're in my closet. That's my launch pad shelf. Um, it's got library books to return. So I'm gonna put that here because the next time I leave, I can drop off library books and do the return at UPS. Usually the impetus for watering my garden in the morning is my shepherd. He comes down with me at five o'clock in the morning and he has to go out back. So when I, he go, while he goes in the yard, I water my garden. And that's usually, you know, five, five thirty in the morning. But this morning he's decided to sleep in. He's turning into quite the teenager dog. Did not come down with me, so I did not open the back door. So I did not water my garden. And here we are. And it's already a million degrees out here. Okay, that's an exaggeration. It's probably like 80 degrees, but I'm very warm. And uh, now I'm watering my garden. Container garden of peppers, tomatoes, strawberries, blueberries, zucchini, mint, green beans, basil, and then lots of flowers to pollinate all of those fruits and veggies. And that basil is big. I need to harvest that basil this morning and make some pesto for the kids. Do I have time to bake bread? Not really. This is how much it amounts to, that harvest of basil. And I add some olive oil, a little garlic powder or fresh garlic, and some salt. You can also add pine nuts, a little bit of lemon, but I keep it pretty simple. I have three basil plants that produce for me all summer. And so what I do, is fill ice cube trays and that gives about a tablespoon of pesto and then once it's frozen you just put it in the microwave for like 20 seconds with some bread and kids do that all winter long from basil we harvested throughout the summer this was in the dryer i'm preparing to move over the wash that i started into the dryer i don't use a laundry basket anymore to hold things out of the dryer I used to have a laundry basket in on top of our dryer in our laundry room and I used it as a crutch. I would fill that laundry basket to the tippy top and then more until I, I couldn't shove anything else in there and then I would go put everything away. By removing the laundry basket, I have forced myself to deal with it when it comes out of the dryer. At first it felt harder to do but it actually is less work. It's like I'm not delaying the decision to put these things away anymore. I organized my linen closet. This has been working famously. I am so glad I made this switch. So every week now, we change the, the sheets on the bed. Everybody grabs their basket and goes and remakes their bed with the second set of sheets and blankets. Oh, it's been so wonderful because now the laundry doesn't get backed up 
in a way that affects people being able to sleep in their beds. Now I can just, you know, let it sit in the laundry room for a day or two until I get a chance to catch up and everyone still has clean sheets. It's wonderful. Since I don't leave a room until I've made it a little bit better, I gotta find something to do before I leave the room. This is like extra socks that I can't find the mates for. So this is queued up, I guess, is trash. Um, my husband has left some things here, but I don't know where they belong in the garage. More socks. I know where this goes. I can put this away. I have hung the swimsuits that I washed this morning. I got the next load queued up. I'm going to put in some detergent and we're going to go to swim class. Since we're leaving the house, I'm checking my shelf, my launch pad. I have some library books that need to go back and I have a return that needs to go to the UPS store. We also have to go to the grocery store and swim class. Swim class bag swim class bag pre-packed with a change of clothes, a comb, and a towel, and his swim goggles. All I have to do is grab the bag. And then when we come home today, I'll wash everything, pack it back up, and put it, <clears throat> and then add a change of clothes from his drawer. So this is just ready to go for next week. Another thing I have to think about when I leave the house is what the other two kids are going to be doing while one of them is in swim class. We have a green backpack that we pre-pack with some things. My older two like sketching, so we usually put their sketchbooks. We often have a library book about sketching checked out, so that'll go in there, and then their case of sketching pencils. Sometimes they put a book that they're reading currently in there or a board game. We do screens from 7 to 8 p.m., and that's it. So I don't bring iPads or screens for them to occupy themselves. It's a switch we made, I don't know, a couple months ago, and it's been fantastic because now my husband and I have some time between seven and eight to watch our shows together where the kids are on their screens. And the, the expectation of getting a screen throughout the day has been eliminated. And that's been more, it's been easier for me, simpler. And I don't have to answer the question of when they're getting a screen time, how they can earn screen time. It's just seven to eight. Here's the bag. It's probably already packed from last week's activities. Yep, sketch pads, sketch pencils. This is this. This is this is Brennan's. Um, we have a book. Brennan's reading a book right there. Rebecca's cleaning the pool, and Jackson's walking around with a water gun. I asked my daughter what she wants to do at swim class today to occupy herself, and she told me she wants to color with me. So I'm getting my coloring book, and she's gonna get her coloring book in her marker set. And we'll do that together for 30 minutes while Jack's at swim. It's too hot for me to leave the house with hot coffee. So I'm going to switch this to iced coffee. And what I do throughout the summer with any coffee that remains in the coffee pot back here, I pour it into ice cube trays and freeze it for days like today when I want to switch to iced coffee. So there's my pesto going. <laughs> and there's my iced coffee. But I already have some bagged. I'm gonna take this so I can clean that. coffee over ice it gets watered down this way I'm icing it down with coffee this is a trick that came from uh, Jeremy and Jamie thank you guys got groceries at the grocery store we did our returns at UPS and now we're doing our drop-offs at the library Jack's taking up the books that we have for the library return and then we'll go home swim make tacos 
So now it's 1230. I'm going to do some swimming. I got to clean this kitchen and that'll be our afternoon. I just got these disposable foil pans from the grocery store. I did two pounds of meat with sauce and spices. And then I'm going to give her an extra one of these so she can just bake the shells. And then she said cheese and lettuce is great for their family. So I'm just going to drop this off to her today for a taco bar night for her and the kids and her husband tonight. I hope these 15 simple living practices help you find balance in the busy in your day like it does for me. And here's a video to watch next about setting up my launch pad that you saw in this video. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you in that video.